for the 2015 inductee to the Texas Criminal Defense Lawyers Hall of Fame, Michael Paul Gibson from Dallas, Texas. And Mike, and tomorrow you'll be joining your friends and fellow lawyers from uh, uh, the North Texas area, uh, Mike High School and Jeff Kearney, and and uh, becoming the newest members of the Texas Criminal Defense Lawyers Hall of Fame. And it is such a well-deserved uh, 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 honor, uh, not only for our association, but also uh, I know for you and your family it is because you have uh, uh, have such a distinguished career and we're gonna spend some time going over that, okay? And so uh, the first thing uh, I think the people would like to know is when is it that you first decided you wanted to become a lawyer? Well, that's an interesting question, but first of all, I do want to thank you for coming, Richard, and uh, participating in this interview. I want to thank the members of TCDLA. I was humbled and surprised when I got the call that I was going to be asked to do it, and it means a lot to me because I have been a member since 1974, and some people important to me signed my certificate, so thank you for coming, and thank the members of TCDLA for this honor because I, I'm very humbled proud to take it. Uh, when did I want to or decide or understand to become a lawyer? Uh, actually, like most people, I think you fall into your careers, but in my case, I can even remember a seminal moment when I thought that might be what it is, although I received some guidance. But um, I had graduated from college and I had uh, uh, declined the medical school and went to dental school in Houston, Texas, and I was working in a hospital, and I did not enjoy dental school. Uh, it wasn't the grades, it just wasn't what I wanted to do. And interestingly enough, the pathologist doctor that I worked for at St. Luke's Hospital, which is in uh, Houston, Texas, was a doctor, lawyer, who became a doctor and was dissatisfied with it. And in a moment of discussion with him about how I just was struggling with it, he said, well, Mike, you always like to argue with me. You always take up for everybody else around here. He says, why don't you get the heck out of dental school and why don't you go to law school? And so I really did take his advice. That kind of brought it crystal and, and uh, I eventually finished two years of dental school, withdrew, uh, taught school for a year in Houston and waited and made my application to law school and went to SMU in 1968, late day, day 68. And so, uh, which brings an interesting question. You've had kind of a checkered uh, uh, job uh, uh, pass that kind of led you to this particular moment. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what, what, what you did before you went to law school? Well, I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas uh, with wonderful parents and I have my sister, older sister. I went to uh, Lanary High Catholic High School and graduated and went to Texas Wesleyan College, which is a small Methodist College there in Fort Worth. I, I tell my good friends from TCU I wanted to go, but I couldn't pay the rate at TCU. Uh, big TCU fan today. Uh, of course, the rate back then was like $400 a semester. It was pretty low. I, I think ours were like $8 an hour per semester, so it's just, yes, that's how old we are. Uh, uh, however, I, I did um, uh, enjoy science. In fact, I have a degree in chemistry, and so I got into working in the hospital laboratories. That's how I got working in it. And uh, at the same time of working in laboratories to go to school, I was active in politics. I did like politics. I, I did some work uh, in Austin. I did some work for some Congress people in Fort Worth, Jim Wright, I mean, in his office and things. So um, I was always busy. And uh, uh, I got an opportunity to go to medical school that I declined and, and, and bless my your departed mother's heart. It probably broke her heart. But that was a decision I made and I went to dental school and thought that that was right. Had gotten married and uh, packed up and drove to Houston with no place to be and, and no job and there we go. And so uh, uh, I was working and the, that was another really bl great blessing to me in, in many respects. Uh, while in Houston I worked at St. Luke's Hospital. At St. Luke's Hospital today is is the Denton Cooley Heart Hospital in Houston. And so I got an opportunity to not only meet with Dr. Denton Cooley and Dr. DeBakey at a time when the transplant programs were going on, but I actually got to participate in Dr. Cooley's first transplant uh, uh, 